Welcome back. Glad to have you here. Hello, anyone who's new. We've got a few new subscribers. Want to say hey? And thanks for stopping by. So today is an update video. I'm going to fill you in a little bit on what's been going on, what's coming up. Look at a few of the, the cool things that I received over the last month or so and do a shout out or two. So to get started, let's sort of pick up from the confessions video that I did here um, a, a little while back and fill you in on the progress happening with my uh, weight loss journey. So in the confessions video, I talked about how the later part of 2020 going into 2021, I was really, really struggling with binge eating. I was ordering a lot of very unhealthy food and just consuming behind closed doors and everything. If you want to know more about that, um, then check that video out. I give all the details there, but needless to say, I I'm doing so much better. Since getting that weight off my chest, I think it really made a difference in being able to manage those cravings and really stay on track, being honest with myself, with the, you know, with bio and, and everything that I've been able to, to really rein it in and I'm feeling a lot better physically, mentally. In the past, whenever I have, you know, stayed on a healthy way of eating and and worked on that, I've been able to lose weight. But after years and years of yo-yoing and, and abuse to my body, um, such as what happened this last this last year, it's much, much harder. The struggle is very, very real right now. And it's frustrating and I'm I'm working very hard to overcome it. I feel that if I just stay the course at some point, my body will regulate and um, things will become a little easier. However, me and the scale are not friends right now and it's been tough. So to be brutally honest, when I started back in April, um, I believe that I, I had a top weight somewhere around um, 268. I think I may have maybe touch 270. That was a real wake up call. I haven't really gotten up to that weight in a very, very long time, several years, really let things get out of hand. And since focusing on um, not eating carbs, I know that might be a controversial thing for some people, but my body type, um, and I've known this for since I was in my 20s, when I eat carbohydrates, I will gain weight. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Um, I cannot eat more than 20 grams of carbs. When I do choose to eat, you know, carbohydrates, they need to be in the form of, you know, healthy vegetables, um, not starchy vegetables. I, I really try to keep that carb count down below 20 when I, um, when I do eat. So that has always been successful. I feel better. My inflammation goes away. Um, and there's no weight gain. If I eat anything over that, if I eat carbs at all, I will immediately see it on the scale. Like it's, that's just the way my body is made. So I know many other people have, have that same issue. It's not the same for everybody. There are many people out there whose metabolisms are very different. We're, we're all different body shapes and sizes and we all have different ways of metabolizing our food. But for me, carbohydrates cause me to gain weight. And that's one of my big issues. I also crave them and they become an addiction to me. So I have to be very careful. Now that I've been managing them and in staying the course, i um, been working in some intermittent fasting. That's been helping quite a bit. Um, a lot of that inflammation has gone away and I have gotten now down today, a new low, not counting last year. This is since I, I gained back some of this down to 251.4. Yeah, I feel a little better. It's so slow though. This time last year, um, I had gotten down to, I think it was 229 um, pounds. I had broken through over 230. And to be back where I am now, it's, it's frustrating. Still working on it one day at a time. Um, managing things, communicating, and uh, that's going well. So a little update there. 
Next update involves something coming up. So here in about four weeks, um, June the 19th, Vio and I are taking our first vacation since 2019. We are going to be going to Las Vegas and we are attending a vampire salon there. Um, we'll be staying at the Mandalay Bay. This is our first time to be in Vegas. Neither one of us have ever been there. And so we're very excited. We've got a few friends. We're going to reach out and see. I want to shout out to Mia of me and my nightmare. We'll put a little link down there. You guys need to go check out um, her new single mad world. And it's, it's really, really great. And um, she's been wonderful and we're so excited to see her. Um, and we're also going to be seeing um, some other friends while we're there. So adventures in vampire lifestyle and um, getting to meet people. We're going to vlog the whole thing. Um, we're actually going to start prior to that in getting ready because this is a dress code event. And as such, uh, we're putting together outfits and um, we'll reveal some of those um, a little in advance. And then of course, when we're there, we'll get some great video of um, the event and um, of everything that goes along with it. So you guys will basically, you're going to, going to come on vacation with us. So I hope you're excited about that. What I also wanted to do today is go through a little bit of the gifts and trinkets that were given to me by um, family, by Vio and some friends um, here for my birthday, which was a month ago. And so I wanted to go through and show you guys some of the things that uh, I received, um, just cute little things. I'm going to start with uh, the gift given to me by my daughters. They know me very, very well. And ever since I was a child, I was obsessed with Maleficent and they got me, they got me this cute little Maleficent dragon statue. So I think it's adorable. I just, ever since I was a kid, this fascinated me. When she transforms into this dragon, I was just blown away. I don't know what it is, but it's just the most majestic thing. Long before Angelina Jolie's films and the live adaptations of this movie, Maleficent was my favorite, still is, so. There's that. Um, thank you, girls. It's adorable. Another gift that was given to me, this is actually quite a while ago. This was for Valentine's Day, but I get so many compliments on this that I just wanted to show it to you. Um, a lot of people ask me where I got it and, and all of that. So this is my purse. Uh, Vial got this for me for Valentine's Day. I got the little bone handle and um, little little coffin coffin shape. It does have a chain. I took the chain off because um, I just prefer to carry it and the chain, you know, I didn't want to get caught on things. But um, this is Creepsville 666 and I'm going to link that down below. You should totally check out their website. They've got everything you can think of from accessories, dresses, clothing, um, jewelry, just pretty much anything and it's adorable stuff. So check them out and there's my i've got a couple little stickers from different things brutal bakery and uh, too fast so i need to i need to paint my nails Jeez. okay bio is obsessed with sunglasses and always wants me to wear sunglasses i typically don't um i don't know maybe it's because my eyes are darker the sun doesn't bother me in the same way and i just don't wear sunglasses very often but he did get me a pair that i will wear um, they're super cute. They're these little bats, little bat wings. Um, and now I don't wear these driving because there's little, I'll show you in an up close on these. There's little uh, lines that aren't good for, you know, they kind of block my vision a little bit. So, but these are great for just being out on walks. Uh, we'll probably do a cemetery walk this weekend if it's not raining. It's been raining for weeks and weeks. It's crazy. Uh, but we want to get outside and, you know, I'll have to make sure I have something to cover my face because, yeah, pale. No, <laughs> trying to avoid the, the skin cancer. Those are super cute. Thank you, Ohio. I collect stuffies and I give them silly little names. This particular little, little guy um, actually came with a name. It's one of the 
these little stuffed tie, little beanie. I collect these little dragons. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I just, I love them. And I always get the dragons. They always have to have their little wings. This little guy is one of my favorites. He's black, like little sparkle. And he's got these little sparkly red wings and he has a unicorn horn. Look at that. His name is Grindel and he's one of my favorites. I have several of these, but this is my most recent to my collection. He's so cute. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these guys. I need, uh, they need a home somewhere in my, my house. Right now they're just kind of on my dresser um, with all of the other little stuffies that I collect. So I don't know, you guys have any ideas where, what I should do, shelf or I don't know, some sort of little, little stuffy collection home. Maybe I should go through my stuffy collection sometime. I know, I'm a child, it's fine. So recently, Vio came across a jewelry maker. Um, they, she does uh, pewter casting jewelry and so many different kinds. So everything you can think of um, from Luciferian, Christian to Wiccan, Norse, just vampire style. I just literally the menu for the different types of jewelry that she makes. There's so much variety there. You have to check this out. Her company name is Arcana 13, the 13 being Roman numeral, so X I I I. And I'll link that down below, but you've got to check out some of the stuff that she's making. Now this particular one, this is the pinnacle. It has the little stone in the center right there, the detail on it, and I'll do an up close of, of all of these so that you can see um, the detail that goes into these designs is wonderful. Very reasonably priced as well. So Vio got um, a few for himself and I'll link those um, since I don't have them here in the moment. Um, we'll get those uh, up close um, so you can see them. Um, this one, it's a little coffin. I really like this, very dainty. This one's really great um, for just something subtle that you want to wear and, you know, just very gothy. All right. So this is probably my favorite piece, um, because of just the, the way it's got that sort of bat wing look. And I really love that dark jewel. Vio and I were trying to decide whether it's red or it's black. And I think it's just such a deep, deep red that it really kind of, um, comes across as black. This one I wear quite often. This is, this is a favorite. And then this one, which I don't wear too often, I haven't found the right outfit for this one quite yet, but it is gorgeous. It's got this bat on it. Um, it's a cross and I just haven't figured out, I, it's one of those things kind of where you, you buy just a perfect pair of shoes and then you have to build the outfit around it. That's what I feel like um, is going on here with this, this necklace. So have the necklace. Now I need to build the outfit to go with it. So, um, maybe something in Vegas. I'll bet you that that's going to happen. So the piece de resistance is one given to me by a new friend. And I want to do a very special shout out for this. So recently, um, friend Erin, uh, has come to town. She travels with her job. And so she, she got planted here in our little Midwest area and, uh, hooked up through, through, um, you know, our goth community and has come out to a couple of our dance nights and we've gotten to know her. She's going to be coming back again. And it's just been a delight to hang out and meet with her. She's just so much fun. I've had dinner a couple times and, uh, you know, go out for drinks and dancing and it's just been a blast. And she had a particular brooch that she was wearing one night that I was just in love with. And when she got back home, she sent me a little little gift package as a thank you, you know, for kind of showing her the town and, and, you know, and everything. And it was just so sweet. And here we go. This is probably my favorite thing now. Let me get it. Is this little spider brooch, little spider here. Now the thing about this piece, it's not super, super heavy. So it's not going to weigh things down but it's not flimsy. This is solid. It, the little legs don't bend. Um, the pin on the back is very well made. 
Um, it's just beautiful. And thank you so much, Erin. Um, her friend at uh, Le Plume Noir, and I'm going to link this down below. Please go check out the shop and uh, see some of her, her items there. Get yourself a little spider pin. Um, but definitely check that out. I love this card. This card is really, really cute as well with the little peacock feather um, and little design. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I'm so glad that we've gotten to know each other and become friends. So I wanted to say thank you. Also, uh, this last weekend was World Goth Day and uh, on May 22nd. So if any of you, tell me what you did. Tell me what spooky, uh, cool things you did. Maybe you just got dressed up and took some pictures in your house. Send me some pictures. Put me some comments down below. Fill me in on, uh, on what you guys did. We had a picnic uh, scheduled at the graveyard, uh, grilling in the graveyard. We do once, sometimes twice a year. And we had it scheduled for World Goth Day. We always get the greatest turnout and meet so many new people that come out to these events. Unfortunately, it was raining that day as it has been raining for literally like over a month at this point. It's ridiculous. Rain, rain, rain. It's raining today. Um, I appreciate a thunderstorm as much as anybody else does, but I'll tell you what, when it kind of is days and days of it, we need a little bit of a reprieve. However, that particular day it was raining and I want to say thank you to Celine at Monkey Wrench Clothing for allowing us to have a plan B and move our event to her space. She um, opened up her shop to us. We were able to set up the tables and um, got everybody to come inside. It was a wonderful, just the ambiance there. It's a gorgeous shop. If you haven't gotten out to Monkey Wrench, you need to go. You, you need to have this in your life. Um, and Celine was just wonderful letting us come in and I hope she had a wonderful day because I'll tell you what, when you get a whole bunch of goths all in the same place with all those beautiful clothes, I know I bought a few. So <laughs> I know that, uh, you know, everyone was excited to, to see what was there and, and make a few purchases. So, um, just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being so welcoming and offering that space to us to be able to move the event. Don't forget to click the like button if you like what we've got going on here. Click subscribe and that notification bell so you can know when new videos are going to be coming out. And until next time, stay spooky, everyone. I will see you next time.